Ghosts of a Beautiful Past by Wilfred Blunt Ghosts of a Beautiful Past, for days long gone, of a queen, of a fair sweet woman. Ghosts of a passionate eyes, so proud, yet not too proud to have wept, to have loved since to love is human. Ancient fair white garments, with skirts of lawn, but the autumn wind on the pathway fluttered, always close by the castle wall and about to speak, and a whisper dies on her lips unuttered. Yellow leaves steep strewn on the sward, dead leaves of a far off glorious summer, the leaves of the roses she plucked, petal by petal, the beating heart of him the delayed loved comer. My dove she weep was year on year, ere tarried long on me a thousand desolate years. Why dove she weep? She half wept enough, for see, dark down in the garden's dim a lake, it is filled with the tears. Ask the name a title of man, but it need not ask it. I know the last of old, both old and spoken. Is there never name but one? For the face divine, for those sad sweet lips, like a bow and bend, like a bend bow broken. There is none but hers, the queen, the beloved of all, the beloved of one. The table round was set in the mead carling on. None but hers, who was the universe, when the trumpets blew and the night's full clad rode down the joust at noon with Kalamua showed the queen. Doth she remember all, or saw the forgotten pen and proud lance and rest, fond of hoofs and the lights of treat of the foremost runner? There if she raised her eyes, those passionate eyes, the crowd that gazed, none of them all might meet her look, save he, her one true passionate knight, who adorning won her. Surely, surely she see, she now of all, she's no lost vision of death, she hath still a smile deep hidden, she hath a name on her lips, she hath sigh, she shall speak, she shall move, when the light winds breathe from the western seas, with a spring that quickeneth. Oh, she shall laugh and sing, while the shadow of death be a cloud behind her, oh, she shall laugh, while the dragon of grief keep watch, he shall sleep then, the trees and the mad grow green, and the waking he shall not find her. Read me a sweeter meaning, O lady, of thou whom I serve for this pictured story. Read neither tale is told to its truth, I swear by my sword, by my knightly faith, the fame of a king on the table round, and the soul of the saints in glory.